Sports icon and boxing legend Iron Mike Tyson came under attack this week. Ridiculous claims by USA Boxing that the fact that his promotion company that he just launched, he's just trying to make a living for himself, Mike Tyson, and they're attacking him saying, oh, you're signing young fighters, you're ruining our Olympic team. I can tell you guys there are a lot of problems with the USA Olympic team. Mike Tyson is not part of them. Instead of looking in the mirror, they're blaming him. You guys, first of all, need to treat the fighters better. You need to let them bring their own coaches that brought them to that level, not team them up with some strangers, and a lot of issues of that. But we're not going to get into all that. I'm going to read to you the letter that Mike Tyson wrote Dr. Butler of USA Boxing. And this is what Mike Tyson says in response to their claims. I'm responding to your open letter regarding an erroneous claim that my boxing promotion's position of signing young fighters is hindering the growth of USA Boxing's future Olympic team. I am writing you directly to give you the respect you didn't afford me when you addressed me in public. I am most disappointed that you and USA Boxing could not afford me the courtesy and respect not only as a former heavyweight champion, but a former amateur champion to contact me first instead of taking advantage of my name and my company for publicity. Mike Tyson is right about that. They could have contacted him directly, but they went straight for the headlines. No one knows better than I the pitfalls of amateur and professional boxing. As you guys all know, Mike Tyson had a roller coaster career and he's made tens of millions of dollars and he lost a lot of it and now he's back up again. Uh, Mike uh, goes on to write Dr. Butler of USA Boxing. This is precisely why I'm compelled to make Iron Mike Promotions a transparent company. Our priority is the well being of our fighters. Mike goes on to write these young fighters have worked diligently and deserve the right to pursue the best path to fit for themselves. Unfortunately, many of them can't wait around for a very slim shot at Olympic glory. Our country hasn't made a male boxing gold medalist since 2004. The last American to win gold in the Olympics is of course Andre Ward. Um, which could be why many young hopefuls decide to turn professional sooner. Of all the current champions, I believe you would be hard pressed to find the, a former gold medalist. Many of these boxers are like me in that they are from poverty stricken communities and boxing is their only way to better their life. They have obligations beyond your personal vision for them. No one has the right to question the path a fighter chooses in pursuit of their American dream. Those are the words of Mike Tyson. Mike goes on to write, the only reason they are amateurs is to turn pro. In other countries people are amateurs because it's fun, because it's cool. Here people are amateurs to turn pro. Mike goes on to write that he feels the recent signing of his company of Ericsson Lubin um, and he says Ericsson's desire to sign with his company was solely his decision based on consultations and input from his advisors and that other promotion companies offered him more money and were aggressively pursuing him and his company Mike Tyson Promotions hasn't been around even for a year yes this kid wanted to sign with him and Mike goes on to write I have been told repeatedly by elite amateur boxers that they do not want to risk injury in the amateurs. Mike is not agreeing with the fact that they're not going to wear headgear now. Like what's the point? Just go ahead, turn pro. And this is also the primary reason why Erickson Lubin decided to go professional. Also, um, Mike Tyson writes USA Boxing. You state that 18 is too young to turn pro, yet you write this open letter to someone who has turned pro at 18 and has had and has had a very successful professional boxing career. This guy's writing Mike Tyson complaining about why you making kids turn 18 when Mike Tyson actually he writes it here I still hold the record as the youngest heavyweight champion currently there's a young fighter in Washington DC area you see him right here that's Dusty Harrison he's very popular check out this little video I did with him and his dad last year uh, Dusty Harrison, that's, he, that's my cousin right there, right there, that's my cousin, God, he's only, world champ right there. He's only 17 years old, he's already a professional, that's pretty cool. That's a badass fighter right there, cool, cool, badass fighter, come on Dusty, you Did he know see you? Good, good. Your son's pretty tall, he's six foot, and this event is sold out, what does that say? That they love a 17 year old Dusty Harrison, that's what it says.
Dusty, Dusty, I'm Ask here. anybody. What do you think about Dusty Harrison? Dusty, who are you I've here to see, sir? Baby days. <laughs> who did you come to see? Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look at them shorts there. See the picture one? There? I see Miguel Cotto. We're that ain't no damn Miguel Cotto. That's no, I'm Dusty. Joking. I see the Puerto Rican flag. Look at this guy here. I don't even know these people. Excuse me, folks. They they want everybody to step past the uh, box office sign. And pick pa back. Pacquiao or Mayweather? <laughs> back, back, yeah. <laughs> Hey. Oh, Mayweather? Oh, now I know. <laughs> Mike goes on to write, Dusty Harrison, who turned pro at 17, is now 19 and undefeated in 17 professional fights. Dusty, a very exciting fighter. The future of boxing out of D.C., you got to look out for this kid. Even Mike Tyson noticed this kid, Dusty Harrison. Um, and Mike writes, USA Boxing. Harrison also attends a local college. Promoters, managers, and trainers have always been in the recruiting business. This isn't a new phenomenon, and this goes on in all professional sports. Your recently elected position as president of USA Boxing comes after the previous president was dismissed for publicly, publicly making unacceptable comments. As you remember, the other president of USA Boxing was interviewed by, I think, the New Yorker magazine, and he said all kinds of comments about women and how they're abused. That's why they get into boxing. Crazy stuff. And he was let go. So Mike Tyson tells the new guy, hey, I hope with your leadership things will change and trickle down to the tournaments, to the shows, and, of course, to the fighters. And then Mike ends his letter by saying, I will always be supportive of amateur boxing and will continue to help in any way possible. My door is always open to assist USA Boxing Team reach its goals. Hopefully in the future you will be more comfortable reaching out to me directly. Sincerely, Mike Tyson. You, you, you're one of the best of all time, but you're not 6'7", you're not huge. How did you do it in your size and just dominate so much? Uh, Sign your real name, too. Okay. <laughs> Mike, thank you. That real enough? What, what, what was the secret of the success, Mike Tyson? Um, determination, will to win. Um, looked at myself greater than what I actually was. Your favorite fighter a few months back was Tim Bradley. He was very happy and humbled that you said that. Who do you like besides Tim Bradley today in the world of boxing? Oh, Tim Bradley. Hey, I like uh, Marquez. He fight Marquez. And in this fight, he can't fight like he fought his last fight. He had to fight what it, the way he became Timothy Bradley. Out thinking his fights. Out hustling them. That's the Timothy Bradley that can go to greatness. Not this guy that think he can out punch these guys. He has to look into his trainer. And we all do that once we get that start and we try to prove ourselves. But you, in this game of boxing, this is not a tough man's sport. This is what Timothy Bradley had to know. This ain't a tough man's sport.